voting capital of the world, yet ask anyone who's ever owned a boat tell you it does not come cheap. Now a new solution is available to boaters. CBS 4's David Sutter takes a look at boat sharing. We, got, we can make it a bimini for lunch. They say the happiest day of a boat owner's life is the day they buy a boat and the day they sell it. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm ecstatic. <laughs> That's a question for my wife. Is she happy? She loves it. Gary Jeffries may be the exception to the phrase. A year ago, overwhelmed by storage fees, insurance costs, and maintenance, he was faced with selling his cabin cruiser. It makes it really hard, you know, for a working guy to maintain a boat. Then he found something called Boat Setter. It's paying for itself. I have a great boat. I don't have to pay for anything. Who's paying for it? Renters. People like you and me who want to go boating for a day but don't want boat payments or boat headaches. You can think of Boat Setter as the Airbnb of the sea or Uber for boats. Jacqueline Baumgarten came up with the concept in 2012. A slick online site slash app that connects renters, boat owners, and captains. Boat Setter is a place where you can find a nice boat, a qualified captain, and book it at bargain prices. I think there's a natural desire to be able to get out on the water. And what we do is we make boating more affordable and accessible. So the code has to be embedded. The startup is not in Silicon Valley. Rather, it operates out of an Aventura marina. The walls are lined with projects and plans. Day and night, web geeks, design gurus, and dreamers pour over computers, building what could be the future of boating. This May marks one year since they launched. How's it going? Phenomenal. We are seeing huge growth quarter over quarter, and the demand is so high that we actually are in need of more boats and boat owners to list their boats on the site. Online, you can find everything from 20-foot fishing boats to 100-foot super yachts. They attribute much of their success to boats like this. It would cost you 400 grand to buy this luxury powerboat, or you could rent it for an afternoon for 200. My math isn't great, but... I think I'll take the 1200. Alex Warner, who operates two boat clubs, was one of the first to enroll his boats in the site. He says profits have increased 20% for him. This is the next evolution of boating. Um, I think it gives everybody the opportunity to get out on the water regardless of your boating experience. When you run on the site, owners have their choice of running the boat or running the boat with a U.S. Coast Guard licensed captain. It's peace of mind for owners like Gary, whose boat is always in good hands. It took all the worry, I mean, I mean, away from me. But what happens should something go wrong on the water? Is boat setter legal? Absolutely. That's one thing that we take a lot of pride in. Boat Setter managed to create something called peer-to-peer -peer insurance. According to them, should something go wrong, you're covered. Our insurance protects the boat, the boat owner, the captain, and the renter during every Boat Setter excursion. As the taxi industry took issue with the ride-sharing apps Uber and Lyft, the marine industry has been somewhat resistant to Boat Setter. Most of it has to do with money, such as marinas want a commission on rentals, and boat clubs don't like the competition. Still, as this startup navigates the waters, there appears to be a lot of promise. We're a gateway to the boating lifestyle and experience. And you can take a beautiful boat like this, you know, 30-foot formula, and split it with your friends at $60 a day per person. Where can you have that kind of experience on a quality boat like this other than Boat Setter? This boat may just float. Not often that you, you get to own a boat and have the expenses paid for you, you know. Boat Setter provides that for me. And it's really paying the bills? It really is. Legally speaking, this is all fairly new, but Miami-Dade County is actually intrigued by this idea. In fact, they're in discussions right now to allow Boat Setter to possibly use one of their marinas in a pilot program. However, it's just discussion phase right now. Could be a reality, though, by the end of the summer. In Miami, David Sada, CBS 4 News. There you go. Boat Setter, John Gerard. What do you think? We should maybe one day after tennis? Well, you and I were talking about this earlier. You and I both have the best, best kind of boat, right? <laughs> the one that somebody boats. else owns and they invite us on.